That is annoying, that hiss, isn't it? Oh. Hey Mini fans, welcome back to another episode. Right, today um, I want to get on with uh, getting the car ready for being put on the jig. Um, the front part of the jig sits on top of the uh, bulkhead. Um, unfortunately the studs for the pedal box are in the way. So we need to remove the pedal box, obviously remove the steering column, and uh, we might as well remove the steering rack while we're at it, get that out of the way. Um, before we carry on with the episode and we get on with that, I just want to say thank you so much to all those people that have subscribed. We're over 100 now. Um, I just want to say to all those people, because obviously there's so many people that watch that are not subscribing, obviously thank you so much for watching, um, but please consider subscribing. Um, I think subscribe is probably the, the wrong name. I think follow is probably maybe a better, um, you know, better name for it. You know, you, it's not going to cost you anything. You know, we're not sucking all your data from you or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what what it is, but uh, yeah, please, please subscribe. You know, we're uh, seeing the numbers go up just gives you, um, you know, more. You know, obviously, uh, you know, more enthusiasm get in the garage. You know, to get to get um, videos made to you know to you know obviously it just pushes you to get on with the with the tasks you want to do as well as obviously giving you content. So um, it's a win-win, isn't it? So um, yeah, please subscribe. Um, Let's get on with this episode and start getting this stuff out. Right, here's the studs where the mast cylinders bolt on to. The uh, front of the jig, the, the, the bracket, sits on the bulkhead here, so these are in the way. Let me uh, get the, uh, the, the part I'm on about from the jig and then I'll uh, show you what I mean. So the jig, sits there like that. So that's all flat against, flat against the um, bulkhead over here, but the studs get in the way underneath here, so this is lifted up. So we need to get these studs out of the way so we can get this bracket on. Right, okay, so we've got the steering wheel. That's got to come off. Um, it's just a nut, same as we used for the um, subframe uh, for single bolt, and uh, your hub nut. For the discs that's the same size so yeah so we take the steering wheel off we've got a shear bolt here which actually has been sheared so we're going to cut that one off or drill it out either or and then we've got a bolt at the bottom of the steering column and then that should remove the column we've got a few bolts to hold in the um, uh, pedal box in and then we've got four bolts holding the steering rack in so um, I'll bring you in and we'll have a look a bit closer at what we need to take off um, and then we'll crack on Right, so there's the shear bolt that's sheared. So we've got a, like I said, drill or cut that off. We've then got a 11 mil 716 down the bottom. And then those two points hold the steering rack in, so that should pull the steering rack out. Obviously we've got the steering wheel to, to remove. And then we've got the pedal box, which has got a couple of bolts at the, at the um, either side here. And then obviously we've got the bracket Sorry, we've got the bracket here um, with a couple of bolts underneath here, so we'll undo those. And then just here, these two here, and the two just there, I'll hold the steering rack in, and then we'll be all out and ready to uh, put that front part of the jig on. Okay, put your steering lock on. Inch and five sixteenths. My steering rack is rotating. Not steering rack, the uh, steering column. There we go. Okay, so nut off. There's a washer underneath there as well. Get that in a sec. Okay, so, 
I'm getting the feeling, because that was a bit tight, that this um, steering wheel might be a bit of fun to get off. Um, a lot of people um, probably will now try and wiggle it and pull it towards them. Um, when it finally goes, you end up smacking yourself in the face. So if you put the nut you've just removed back on, just a couple of threads, then when it finally goes, it hits the nut and it doesn't hit you in the face. So let's have a go at trying to wiggle this steering wheel off. Wow. Right, this isn't coming off. It looks like I might, I might have to remove um, the steering wheel with the column. Um, but I'm going to put some WD-40 in here, or penetrating oil, um, and um, leave it for a while, see if that will loosen it up, and then give it another go. Let's, uh, let's try that. Right, change plan. I can't get the steering wheel off. So um, I'm going to remove the column with the steering wheel attached. So let's start with that bottom bolt, and then we'll drill out or cut off that other bolt. What you'll find quite often is the bottom of the rack, the sorry, the column, will, uh, when the bolt's done up, grab hold of the thread uh, quite tight, it'll clamp round really tight. You'll take the bolt out, but it still wants to hold on tight. So um, I find you put a screwdriver in, just open it up a bit, that should release it, and then um, we should be good. At last, we'll take that steering wheel off later. I'll probably hold it like that and punch the column out of the centre. That might be easier, hopefully. There you go. Put it on the uh, on the bench and punch the uh, column through. Came straight off. It's amazing, isn't it? Right, let's get on the next bit. Oh, look at that. Pound, pay me back. Okay, so we've got just a couple of bolts, one this side, one this side, and then we should better get this pedal box out. So let's uh, get on with that. Also, this bracket I'm moving here, I'll show you in a second, is a bracket that everyone always forgets to put back in. It's the accelerator pedal stop bracket. Let me show you. Right, there we go. If you can see that, there you go. It's just a little angle bracket. It just, um, fits underneath that bolt and yeah, it's your stopper for your throttle pedal. Right, so this should, he says, come out.
brake pedal went up stiff. We'll have to look into that. That's good. Oh, that's stiff ass. Right, that's the pedal box out. Okay, so next we've got these two bolts and these two bolts. So it's just the four holding the steer rack in. So undo these and then we should be able just to drop that. Let's drop the steering rack out. Right, so we've got the studs out. So that means we can um, now get this front part of the jig together uh, and bolt it up. So let's get on with that next. Right, so there's the frame in. It's nice and sturdy. Um, just for reference, the, um, these angled bars, these go to the um, steering rack holes where the uh, steering rack goes through for the column, those holes, both for uh, drivers and passengers, obviously. Um, yeah, nice and sturdy. Um, I'm gonna try putting the legs on and see how we go from there. Right, we've got this disc, which looks like it bolts to this piece here we've got a couple of holes that line up with those holes so I'm gonna put this on this first I think that's the right procedure let's go on with that okay so that's the plate mounted the light the hole lines up so I think we're good let's uh, put the legs on and uh, take the next step We've got this piece to go between the two legs. Hopefully you can see all this. Obviously everything's all black, isn't it, of course. Um, so yes, yeah, so this bit goes in between the two legs here. Um, I'm only setting this up at the moment just to support the front so that we can uh, get that rear subframe out and then obviously then we can set it up correctly to get it rotating once we've got the back end on as well. So I'm just gonna bolt this on 
and then we move on to the next step. Right, so that's the front all done. Not all tight yet, but it's all together. Let's uh, bring you in for a closer look. Right, so here we go. There's the jig or front half. We've got some legs that go on the bottom here, but because the shell's at an angle, I don't want to put them on and put pressure on. So I'm just going to use it as this for the bow. But the jig goes on there. I'm not quite sure how this locking system works yet but I'm sure we'll figure that out. Um, so yeah, so that, that goes on there. I'm assuming somehow something called a pin, or well, it doesn't appear to be too much in the in the kit. Well, we'll, we'll figure it out. So that something's gonna go in here, I'm assuming to lock this up. Um, there's the braces. So we've got the one that goes to the hole for the steering column. And then we've got the tower bolts and that frame that fits on there. We've got some adjustment holes to uh, to change the height. We'll uh, obviously do that later to the correct height, but it's probably not too far off. I wouldn't have thought. Um, yeah, so that's the uh, front part of the jig mostly in. Let's get that rear subframe out so we can get the back half in. <laughs> 